NASA GPS pucks are pretty tough and will survive most crashes, but sometimes they don't. After a particularly hard crash, my GPS puck at most would only lock on to five satellites, not enough to fly. A new GPS puck can be bought for $130 to $150. Before I shell out that kind of cash, I had to check out the inside of the damaged puck. A very small torque screwdriver is required to open it. The damaged puck looked okay inside. However, on close inspection, I noticed the rectangular antenna had a hairline crack through it. This part is a ceramic, hence easy to crack. I punched the part number into the search engine and lo and behold an eBay seller came up who was selling lots of five antennas for ten bucks plus ten bucks shipping. These look to be perfect replacements. The antenna is held to the circuit board by double-sided tape. There's a pin which engages a hole through the circuit board. The solder from this needs to be removed first. After desoldering, I gently pried the broken antenna off and cleaned the glue residue from the circuit board. Then I glued the replacement antenna to the circuit board with silicone sealer. After it hardened, I soldered the pin and tried to put the board back into the case. It didn't fit. The original antenna is two millimeters thick. The replacement I bought was four millimeters thick. I noticed there is an additional letter on the antenna, a K. The replacement has an M. I think the letter stands for the thickness of the antenna. No information online mentioned this letter, so be careful if you are purchasing one. I have seen antennas with the same model number that were 7.5 millimeters thick. These will definitely not fit in the case. To make the 4 millimeter thick antenna fit in the case, I had to cut down the screw pockets of the lower case. After assembly, it looked good as new, but would it work? I hooked the repaired puck to the NASDAQ PMU of my F550, and it was outside for a test. The IOSD showed 7 sats in 2 minutes. I repeated the test with the original puck, and it registered 7 sats in 30 seconds. I repeated the test with the repaired puck, resulting in 7 sats in 19 seconds. A flight test soon followed with spot-on position hold. I'm pleased to have saved at least 120 bucks. Thanks for watching. Happy flying!